Okay, so we've got our character that can move around. What we want to do is probably create a bullet that can be shot. So this is going to be first view, a couple of videos. So what we're first going to do is actually just create the bullet. So we're going to our models and we're just going to make a new scene. Let's call it bullet and it's going to be a 3D scene. And we'll change that one's type to be a rigid body because we're going to run physics on this one. And as usual, for the rigid body will add a collision shape. And we're going to add just a node 3D to store all the model components. Okay, so what I'm going to add here is just a couple of mesh instances. I could have gone and made these in something like Blockbench, which would actually be a lot better. But I'm just going to keep my design really simple by going, hey, let's put a mesh on here. Let's do a cylinder. Let's call that bullet body. Got our design. Let's make its height only 0.25 and its width 0.01. Actually, let's just do 0.1. We'll actually make this bullet quite big so we can actually see it quite easily. And then we're going to just rotate it around. under our transform, not quite enough, so let's do it minus 90 degrees, and we're going to do the front of the bullet, we'll just put a capsule mesh on this, same things here, so we'll do a 0.25, nice and small, and what we can then do is move that to the front, essentially 0.25 to 0.25 becomes a little solid shape. So we've got our basic sort of bullet here. So we can just sort of quite easily just tell which way is the front. Let's just go and put some materials on this. A bit of, let's just make yeah, a bit of a bright yellow for the front and on the back what should we do surface materials so as you can tell quite a lot nicer if we were to go and deal with this in a, another bit of software let's do an orange back so we've got our bullet now it needs to have a collision shape attached to it I am just going to use a capsule shape which we're going to shrink right actually before we shrink it let's actually rotate it around the X axis 90 degrees Our shape here. I'm not going to worry too much about it not being exact, but here's our collision shape for our board. Now, what we also want to do is add some code onto this because we want our bullet to basically only last a certain amount of time. So we're going to add a child node and we're going to add a timer. And let's also add a script onto the bullet. Now, this timer we want it to auto start only run once and we can set how long we want the bullet to run for. So now I'm going to go into my node, on timer timeout, I'm going to attach that to my bullet. We've got it on timer timeout. What we're going to do 
is we're just going to print. Print port timeout. And I'm just going to run that scene. Just a sec. And we see after one second, it's expired. What I then also want to do is we're just going to remove the bullet after that timeout. So to remove something from the scene, we just use Q.free and it will remove whatever this current scene is. So let's look at this. Bullet timeout. Excellent. So that was basically gone and created a bullet that will expire after one second. With our bullet, what we also want to probably do is go into our inspector. And we can play around the gravity. So I'm actually going to make it so these bullets don't actually behave and follow sort of gravity. And then what I'm going to do is just go and test that that actually is visible. So I'm just going to stick my player, drag the bullet onto them, just move the bullet so that it's actually visible in front of the player, run that scene, and we've got that bullet which was there and then it disappeared. That's good, but I don't want that bullet actually attached, so I'm just going to delete it from here.